This is a 2014 Jeep Wrangler Sierra. A vehicle that it might be mine, who knows. This could be my next vehicle. It's got nice good wheels on it. 3.6 liter. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, I'm really looking for a manual, but this one's getting a pretty good deal, so I figured I'd come take a look at it. Okay. You know, plus I got the leather. I like How you like the seats on that? Leather seats. Yourself, you're from around here? Uh, you said Paul? Yeah. You from around here, Paul? Uh, I'm originally from Los Angeles. Oh, good stuff. Okay. All right, we got a... It's got nav on here? Probably not. Media. Oh, so, does it have nav? I'm sorry. Let's see here. Uh, no disc. Radio. Menu. Display. Oh, we got a nav setup. Ooh, navigation. Okay, I guess it does have it. Okay, well, figure that out later. Heated seats, trash control. Of course, a four-wheel drive. Oh, it's got even an AC outlet somewhere. It's an AC converter. Hard top. Is it possible to go for a little drive? Yeah, we can just take it around a lot real quick. Okay, we'll do. Got this one has the uh, power windows. Ooh, very fast power windows. Yeah, just drive it until it runs out. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. We need to go the lot. Okay, so we got drive. Oh, yeah, it's kind of a sports tronic thing too. Yeah, that's kind of cool. You're right. No, that's neutral. That's drive. Okay. Cool deal. That's how far it feels. Look at handles. Here we go. I'm going, when you're doing five miles an hour, it handles like a dream. <laughs> and we'll make a left right over here. Okay. We can take it to the other side. Okay. So your, yeah, viewers, was... your viewers will now know all about the uh, the new car shortage, which is on the other side. Oh see. my God, I can't believe it. This oh. is so crazy. Yes, yeah, so I think we driving up the prices. It's like the worst time to buy a car, which is... It's not a good time for me to be looking for a car, but... Unless you're trading in something. I am trading, trading in something. trading in something, then yeah, that's a great time, actually. Yeah, it kind of maybe evens it out. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. So you got plenty of space here because there's no cars in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, let's just get some... Let's get some juice. Yeah, 3.6 is supposed to be the one to get. And just make it right, right here. Okay. Yeah, I like this. I like even... I don't know, maybe if I, like... I might actually like the automatic more so than the... Right uh, Right yep. I'll give it a good shake back and forth to right, see what see. it feels like. Let's see how quick it turns around. How tight. Can we make a U turn in this little yeah, parking yeah, lot? Go for it. <laughs> that's pretty tight. Yeah, that's nice. Nice and tight. Donuts. And the price on this one is what, 30, uh, 28 or something? I have to get, I have to get that one for you. Yeah. Actually, um, I've had a couple, sold a couple of Jeeps. Yeah, look at right here. What's that? Climb the <laughs> <laughs> Once you sign the paperwork, you can take it anywhere you want to take it. <laughs> I've sold a couple of Jeeps, and uh, my customers who come in, they are, they are already familiar with the Jeep, and they will come through and unlock and do everything like that. So I've seen that it's not that hard to do. Pretty tight. All right, we're here at Fred Anderson and Nissan, where we saw the new. The new Nissan Frontier, and now the Wrangler. This is might be my next vehicle, maybe if they give me a really good deal. <laughs> I think about this area is like there's no place to uh, take things off roading. Cool. You can take it back to the back one more time here. Go right there, oh, straight ahead. Wait a minute. Let me make sure four wheel drive works. Oh, look at this a little trail. Mm -hmm. Get out of here. How far does this go? Uh, just a little bit. I don't want to go too far. <laughs> Does it go far? I've never been down here this far before, so we can definitely see. What? All right, well, let's try the four-wheel drive. So I guess the four-wheel drive high, you just switch it right in there. Okay, so we're in four-wheel drive high. Yeah. Okay, so that's easy enough. I just make sure the four-wheel drive low works, and then you can put that in neutral. Do this to get somewhere. Is that four-wheel drive high? Oh yeah, now put it in drive. No, nothing. Uh, let's see, neutral. Where's the port? Okay, this is... This is drive. Wait, we're in drive now. 
or nothing now. We broke it. Oh, there's something wrong with this gearbox thing. It feels really loose. Really? Yeah. Oh. Like we should be in. Trying to find its way. It's really loose. Like it's not engaging anything. Okay, so we're in neutral. This should be. I mean, look how loose it feels. It feels like it's not engaging in anything. Will it go into, into drive? Let's try to turn it off and on. It's always a good thing. Turn everything off and on, maybe it'll work. No, dude. You killed the car. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. The parking brake is not on. <laughs> Great video. <laughs> Why do you need to check out your four-wheel drive system before you buy a car? <laughs> it's like, I don't want to go in there. Well, we never made it out. We were stuck on that trail. We had to walk back to the dealership. It was quite humiliating. Well, I don't know. I got a feeling we were trade this in. Probably didn't tell them the four-wheel drive low didn't work. Um, but overall, though, I really liked the Jeep. I thought it was really nice. I liked the way it looked. I liked the interior and the exterior. The only problem was that uh, the shifter. So now that they know it's wrong, they could probably fix it. If they fix it, um, I would still probably consider it. I gotta admit though, that's a really helpless feeling when you, uh, you're you out there imagining if you were out in a forest or in the woods far away from home and civilization, and next thing you know, your, your shifter doesn't work and now you're stuck there forever. So that did leave me a very insecure feeling, but I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll sleep on it. Anyhow, this was at Fred Anderson Nissan in Raleigh. And the, uh, if you go check it out, ask for Rashad. And uh, I'll put his information down below. Thanks for watching. Paul's take.